Few things are as crave-worthy as crispy fried foods. And yet, few things are as annoying as the skillet full of oil you're left with once the smoke clears. But don't worry, Martha Stewart has a solution for just such an oily occasion. Some of the best things in life come fried in hot oil. Consider the pure joy of eating perfectly golden sugar donuts while they're still warm, or the satisfaction of a plateful of sweet and spicy Korean fried chicken. If it were not for frying in fat, we wouldn't have onion rings, churros, tempura, falafel, or french fries. My first french fry in eight years. I can hear the hallelujah chorus. As much as we love eating fried foods, the not-so-enjoyable part is having to clean up afterward. Whether deep-frying corn fritters in a cast-iron skillet or shallow-frying pork chops in a nonstick pan, the leftover cooking oil needs to be properly and safely dealt with. The one way you should never deal with it is by pouring it into your sink. Even small amounts of oil down the drain can add up and lead to major plumbing problems. Fats like oil, butter, and grease can solidify in your pipes, causing clogs, backups, and worse. Leave it to domestic lifestyle queen Martha Stewart to have an easy and practical solution. In a TikTok video titled How to Soak Up Oil in a Pan, she shared her cooking talk hack by demonstrating how to simply sop up the remaining oil with paper towels and then dispose of them in the trash. It's an excellent way to get rid of the oil without making a mess, and more importantly, keeps the oil out of your kitchen's plumbing and connected sewer lines, where it can cause real damage. When fats, oils, and grease go down your drain, they don't disappear. They accumulate in your pipes and in time cause blockages. This results in more than just a slow-draining sink, leading to sewage overflowing into your home and water supply. That kind of buildup is the main cause of blocked sewers in the United States. As oils and greases cool, they solidify and harden inside your plumbing and sewers, building up into the aptly named fatbergs. What happened? Oh, we hit a fatberg. A what? The myth that pouring hot water and dish soap into the sink after oil dissolves the mess is not true. While the water and soap may partially dislodge a blockage, it's just being flushed further down the pipes where it will congeal again. That grease will still stick to the pipes, and once it hardens, other materials and debris will stick to it, causing a backup. To avoid cooking up your own kitchen pipe fatbergs, Martha Stewart's paper towel hack comes in extremely handy. In her TikTok video, she explains that you can easily dispose of used cooking oil or melted butter using the technique. She takes a big wad of what appears to be at least five or six sheets of paper towel and carefully lays them directly into a pan filled with about an inch of hot oil. She instructs viewers to let it soak up all that oil while moving the paper around in a wiping motion. She says the pan will cool off quickly and can then be safely washed. No oil makes it into the sink, and you can just discard the paper towels in the trash. Even though Martha Stewart's method for getting rid of cooking oil is super effective, many social media commenters noted that paper towels are expensive and that using so many is wasteful. Furthermore, many mentioned reusing their cooking oil, which is actually an acceptable way to reduce food waste and save money. To save it for reuse, strain the cooled oil using a cheesecloth or coffee filter to remove any food particles. Once clean, pour the strained oil into a covered container and store it in the refrigerator. Discard if the oil is cloudy or smells. If you frequently cook with oil and find yourself wondering how to get rid of it, you might consider a designated pour can to store it in until ready to discard. Glass jars or metal coffee cans with lids work well for this purpose. Pour your used cooking oil into it each time, after it is cooled, of course. Then, once the container is full, you can throw it into the trash. Larger amounts of oil, such as from cleaning a deep fryer or generated by restaurants, should always be taken in for recycling or disposed of properly according to local ordinances.